let's say tomorrow you're driving to your commute to the office or school and somebody cuts you off so outrageously on I-4 and maybe your old flesh rises up and maybe something slips out of your mouth that isn't so holy. And when your anger finally subsides against that idiot on the street, then suddenly you start to hear well, a real Christian wouldn't say those kinds of words. And you start to feel bad and you start to feel condemned and maybe you even start to question your entire salvation. Well, how does righteousness protect you in that situation? Does it mean that you should just keep on doing it and just assume God doesn't care? No, I'm not saying that. But it does mean that your failure didn't suddenly change your status before God as if you got to get saved all over again. It doesn't mean that God doesn't love you. That's what the enemy will say. Oh, you messed up. Christian wouldn't do that. God can't love you. All to try to get you back into performance mode. You might say, oh, in order to be back to be good with God, you've got to lock yourself in a closet and pray for two hours solid. Or maybe do 10 acts of service and fast for three days and cancel hosting this week's Bible study because you got to get clean before you can talk to people. He wants to get you back into self-righteousness. Into burning you out through striving. So the way you protect yourself from going down the slope of condemnation and despair whenever you blow it is you Repent. Now, wait a minute, Kyle. Didn't you just say that our standing before God isn't about performance and isn't repentance all about changing? Changing our behavior? Turning from our sin? Yeah, that's what many people say. And certainly repentance changes us. But it's not done through our own willpower. Repentance is a Greek word metanoia. That comes from two Greek words. Meta, which means change, and nous, which means mind. So it becomes a compound word put together. Repentance is first and foremost a change of mind, a change of thinking. In the New Testament, when Peter and Paul tell people to repent for the forgiveness of sins, they aren't telling people, oh, you first have to stop sinning, then God will forgive you. That would be ridiculous. No, they're saying change your mind about who Jesus is. Change your mind from unbelief to belief, and then the grace will be applied to you, which results in the forgiveness of sins. So when you mess up, it's not about you suddenly conjuring up enough willpower to somehow stop messing up. It's first changing your mind about what the mess up means. It's remembering who you are. It's saying, Lord, I messed up. I confess I messed up, but I thank you for your forgiveness. I thank you for the cross. I thank you for your righteousness applied to me. Empower me, Lord, to walk in your way. Then you move on. You pick yourself back up with confidence in who you are in Christ. That's what empowers you. You do that, and really the enemy completely loses his power over you. Condemnation, shame, insecurity, so much of the junk in our minds goes away. Because that root lie doesn't mean anything anymore. But also, you end up actually living better and closing doors to the enemy because you're not so focused on what you can't do that you end up doing those things over and over and over again. Are you in the middle of a mental, emotional, or spiritual struggle? Here's some good news. God has provided a way to beat that battle today. Yes, you have access right now to spiritual armor complete with six supernatural weapons that ensure victory in any circumstance ready to powerfully access and activate this armor? I've created an in-depth interactive e-course to show you how. 
The Armor of God eCourse includes six dynamic video lessons in which I reveal how to effectively use the weapons outlined in Ephesians 6 to radically shift from chaos to calm, fear to faith, sorrow to joy, and battle to triumph. It's an eye-opening, illustrated exploration of the armor of God that unlocks all the victory Jesus died to give you. This e-course isn't just something you watch, but it's an immersive experience with which you interact. Each lesson includes a 16-minute video teaching, a lesson guide with reflection questions and application tips, and a discussion forum where I interact with you. The Armor of God e-course is available for you to join in on today. Simply visit kylewinkler.org armor to get started. And because the six lesson e-course streams entirely online, there's nothing you have to wait for to arrive. Begin instantly from any internet connected computer, tablet, or smartphone, and continue at your own pace from wherever you are. You no longer have to be under attack, but you can live on the attack. And I wanna show you the way. Join me now to discover how to access and activate the armor of God to beat your battles today. Visit kylewinkler.org armor to get started, and I'll see you there.